back in the day, I used to play the Data East Jurassic Park pinball a lot. So I wanted to make a game, Fast and Furious, like a modern stern pinball, deep rule sets, and apply the old school theme with some of the cool ideas they had, like the ball eating T-Rex, and just make a much more fun game. We have four ramps total, a kinetic Raptor toy, the first ever horizontal helicopter spinner, a helical ramp that feeds an upper flipper, which is a first in pinball. Just crying of how beautiful it is. <laughs> So when I was working on Iron Maiden, I had that playfield layout in my head for a long time. So I was really looking forward to starting a new project with a fresh layout. So I was designing for flow and combos. That was my extra motivation to make this game as fun shooting as possible. The game is set up in a pretty uh, story-based way, based on the first movie. So it's kind of a throwback to the 90s. Uh, uh, uh. So the story of Jurassic Park Pinball is it's your first day at work. You're driving your truck to the control room and on your way, you're, you're visiting different paddocks. The electric fences are down, so the dinosaurs are running crazy. You're helping to catch them. You're helping to save your coworkers. So we're telling the story of some of the workers that weren't showcased in the movie. If you watch the movie, you just kind of follow those four people, but you know there's gotta be hundreds of people working there. This is their story. <laughs> <laughs> It's set up to be not the same experience every time since you can travel around to different areas of the park. The game is based on a progressive type mode. So we have this like map on the LCD that's on the play field also. So you can kind of follow along with your progress as you go from paddock to paddock. It kind of adds like a cool like next level kind of a board game feel to a pinball machine, which sounds crazy, but it's pretty awesome. This entire game was designed around the uh, truck target here, which toggles back and forth. When I came up with this mech, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Have it navigate the island to get the different paddocks. So here's the prototype. I gave this to Harrison and it said, make this real. So from there, I kind of took the overall concept of it, you know, figured out the underlying action of how it actually works, and then took it forward and made you know, what you see on the play field. This mechanism here, just the simplest thing, is like so rewarding. So every time I come up with an idea for a mech for Harrison, I say it's got to be kinetically satisfying. So when he comes up with a mech, he comes back. Is this kinetically satisfying enough for you? I think we have three kinetically satisfying mechs on our premiums. The original Jurassic Park T-Rex toy is one of the better known you know, mechanical toys in pinball. We had to bring that mech forward 25 years and essentially one-up it. I designed the entire game with the T-Rex in a corner, but I wasn't sure what it was going to do. The further I went in the project, George is like, you gotta have a ball-eating T-Rex. You gotta have a ball-eating T-Rex. All right, cool, yeah. Um, Harrison, make a ball-eating T-Rex. Yeah, so that, that process actually started with me and George taking some T-Rex toy from the store, cutting them apart, sticking some you know, magnets inside there. Um, and we had this mocked up back on our white wood, and you know, this jaw just picked the ball up right away. As soon as we saw that we knew that that has to go on the game. T-Rex stays down and waits for the player to actually shoot it into the mouth. So from there, trying to figure out, okay, we got the ball in the mouth, now what do we do with it? And one of the first things Keith wanted was, let's see if we can drop it off on the ramp. From there, I started mocking up a little prototype linkage to get the head to move over to the correct angle and you know, distance away from the pivot. Once we got the ball dropping on the ramp, then we said, well, let's see if we can get it to throw it. By trial and error, we got it to the point where we can throw it over here, sometimes onto the helical ramp. If we want, we can throw it at the truck. T-Rexes are very unpredictable. Oh, yeah, he's a very angry T-Rex. <laughs> Keith talks about all the time how he doesn't want to do the same thing, so he's trying to mix it up. We have a pretty unique shooter lane that feeds directly into a half pipe ramp. So when you plunge, it goes up to this ramp, and also you can shoot this ramp from the left flipper. I actually have a fidget spinner on my desk, and I was just playing with that one day, and I said, this would be a cool toy. I had the ramp to do it on here because a nice little straight path. It took many iterations, but I think we finally got it. Something I've always thought would be cool in a pinball machine. It's a helical ramp that feeds an upper flipper. It spirals around, you know, drops it mid-flow, and then comes flying at your upper flipper so you can combo into another shot. Yeah, one of my favorite things up here is the upper play field actually has more than one option for the upper flipper. So the Raptor pin, we have a motorized gate. So you bang on the gate, that opens up the pen. So after so many uh, target hits, and the gate raises. And when you bash on the gate with the ball, the Raptor goes crazy inside, you know, trying to knock down the electric fence. And when the fence loses its integrity, the ball comes out and you start multi-ball.
T-Rex wants all the attention. The T-Rex is one of the baddest ass mechs I've ever, ever seen. <laughs> This game is just, just a beautiful package. It's, it's, it's awesome to play, it's fun to shoot. The game has a lot of flow to it. If you can get in a rhythm and start to combo your shots. I think the approach for, for designers is you want to create a compelling storyline for the player. Of course, Keith is widely considered one of the best players in the world. The players appreciate that one of their own has gotten a chance to design a game. Keith's designing something that he would enjoy, and in turn, it's something that most pinball players would probably like. It's really, really, really fun. <laughs>